Hello and welcome to Let's Play Banshee for Commodore Amiga CD32. I will have to shut up now because this is the intro. Oh well, I'll read it to you. Earth 1999. But the Earth of a different timeline. There are no microwave ovens and TV is still in black and white. Humanity lives peacefully until... Blodox Meldrier, the evil ruler of the Styx Empire, has an exquisite evil idea. Wouldn't it be great if he could take over good old planet Earth? Well, that would be great. The invasion begins. And only one man stands in the way of Blodox's re relentless lust for world domination. His name, Sven Svordensvard. My god, what a name. I'm so jealous. Sven has good reason to hate the Styx invaders. His father was murdered by them for refusing to invent the microwave oven. Sure, that sounds reasonable. Sven escapes to the last free place on Earth and swiftly builds an incredible flying machine with big guns and rockets and things. He calls this plane the Banshee. Thus begins his one-man rebellion against the exquisitely evil technological might of the Styx invaders. And that's our backstory. Sweet, right? So first I'm going to apologize up front if you might hear me coughing because I'm terribly sick at the moment. You might be able to hear it already. Uh, I can't possibly tell. I have an incredibly sore throat and well, yeah, I might cough a little bit. So anyway, Banshee, released in 1994 for the Commodore Amiga and the Amiga C32. It's a pretty damn good vertical shooter, and um, well, there's not much to do in, do when it comes to the options here. Difficulty level, I'm gonna go with normal because the game's getting pretty damn hard in later levels. Almost impossible, really. So, yeah, let's try this out. Love the music, by the way. CD music, awesome. I'm gonna beat those high scores, by the way. Start gameplay. <coughs> Sorry. Hmm. Objective: Fly across the Atlantic Ocean and destroy the Styx-held harbor town of Nova Scotia. Wait, what's going on? Oh. Uh, the picture doesn't seem right. Guess I'm gonna have to center it. Hold on. Where's that fucking option? Um, this should be it. Well. Yeah. Alright. Let's get started. Um, you'll notice immediately, if you know your old school shmups, that this bears a resemblance to classics like 1942, 1943, and so on. What with your old school plane and good old machine guns. Uh, the thing I just shot is uh, their power-ups. You shoot them, you can cycle through them just picked up uh, points. This enhances your front machine gun. Uh, not just the power but also the firing rate. Uh, I don't know what the propeller does. I think it's uh, speed. But I don't take those because the speed is actually... oh well, let's take it. It's actually pretty good already. Uh, if you look to the top left of the screen, you just noticed I got one of those green orbs by picking up the uh, strange power-up with the B and what looks like sacks of, I don't know, coffee beans or something. Uh, if you have all three of those, it means that if you lose a life, your weapons don't downgrade, and depending on how many you have, if you only have two out of three, it'll only downgrade a little, and one out of three, it downgrades a little bit more. If you have none, it downgrades a significant amount. I don't know if it downgrades completely, but... It downgrades a lot, let's say it like that. Uh, above that, uh, next to that you see shield, which is basically your energy. Uh, you can tell it's not one hit kills here, so you have a little bit of room. But as you can tell, my plane's already smoking, so I'm not doing well. <clears throat> and above that you see loops, which is what I'm doing right now, which will give you invulnerability for a couple of seconds. Um, this power up, yeah, you can tell. I can now shoot diagonally too, which is pretty cool. 
there are a couple of those. Um, one where you can shoot directly to the side as well, so you're covering pretty much all of the screen if you're on the bottom of it. And uh, all the lives and stuff. It's not going to raise score as well, so I guess we can go. Go on. Oh, and you can tell there's another gauge, a boss gauge. <coughs> Sorry. Which would be these two planes. They're really not a challenge. This is just the first mini boss. They're pretty big though. Bit intimidating. Woohoo. One done. And what do you have for me? Yes. Energy. And this one's done too. Wow, that was easy. Yeah, from one up. Oh, sweet. Little boats to shoot. Um. Okay, so why shoot them up? Why would I choose one of those games? Well, for one, it's easy. You know, easy to play at least. It's not easy to talk about because there's not much to talk about, especially with the throat that's killing me. God damn it. And. Uh, but, yeah, well, there's a little bit of history. I mean, why this specific um, shoot em up? I mean, this is one that probably nobody's heard of. But I think if you're watching this, you've probably heard of it. Because why, why else would you watch this? <laughs> and, um, yeah, that power pretty much kills everything on the screen. So, yeah, this game, not well known outside of the Amiga fanboy circles. So if you didn't have an Amiga, it's a good chance you'd never heard of it. And uh, that's a shame, really, because it's really good. It's a lot of fun to play. The controls are perfect. The graphics are, as you can tell, amazing. Too bad there's no music, though, during gameplay. That's that's a shame. But good sound effects. I don't know if you can actually hear them. Might have to adjust the sound that you can hear them a little bit better, because they're quite... They're not that loud for me. Um, damn it. Fucking homing missiles. Ah, ah shit. Oh well. Oh yeah, now you give me the health. Thanks a lot. Damn. Okay. Uh, what was it? Saying? Oh yeah. Um, so why this? Because, well, I grew up with the Amiga. I only later got my Genesis and Super Nintendo on. So, yeah, most of the shit I played back then was Amiga stuff. And while you guys were playing Thunder Force and uh, UN Squadron and whatever on your consoles, I was playing stuff like this. So I thought, wait, why not showcase it? This is one of the better ones, if not the best, on the Amiga. Or at least when it comes to vertical shooters, it's, it's the best. Yeah, points, nice. I mean, come on, look look at this game. Isn't that really beautiful? I mean, I can't get over this. This game's really old, and look, this is, this is the height of pixel art. Uh, 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 oh, one up, great. Um, I mean, there's no, not a single, um, bad graphic in this one. It's all perfectly drawn. It's a masterpiece. <coughs> yeah. What was that? Oh, yeah. Masterpiece. Crap. I wish I could drink something right now because my throat's killing me, but don't want to pause. That would be bad form. I love what happens to to the little uh, to those foot soldiers. They, they're just a bloody fucking stain on the cement after after I'm done with them. That's how it should be. That's something of a rarity for these old games. I mean, this was during a time when yes, uh, blood in games was was all the rage because of Mortal Kombat and stuff like that. But it was also heavily criticized and hard to get out. 
in fact, if I remember correctly, this game was actually censored slightly. Um, at least the CD version. I remember playing the demo, and I heard in the early disc version you could also shoot uh, civilians, which you wouldn't have seen yet because they're only. They're gonna be around in the next level. And later on, polar bears you could shoot and stuff like that. And, yeah, well, unsurprisingly, parents and people who were way too sensitive, really. They didn't like that for some reason. Don't ask me why. Oh, uh, as you can tell, when you take uh, a uh, health power-up, you you become momentarily invincible. Like, for a second, maybe two. It's quite useful if you're in a tight spot. <laughs> oh, you, you went splat, buddy. <coughs> so, homing missile. Yeah, another one of those spread shot things. Good. There's uh, other missiles as well as a power up. Maybe I'll show you. When I oh, this one. This is not another missile, this is a bomb. This is basically for ground targets. It doesn't do any good against air targets, which is why I will never pick it up. So, I know you should usually get around to showing everything, but that one I can't promise because. Uh, that would severely hamper my ability to play this game. Uh, yes, upgrade, upgrade. Mm -hmm. Easy. I love all the little details, like if you shoot one of those uh, train cars, uh, they stop on, tr on track, and if you shoot this, yeah, shit explodes. How it should be. Oh, you went splat, buddy. Splat. <clears throat> now you might think, oh, this this is easy. Yeah, it actually is. The first level is incredibly easy. And trust me, you will not say this is easy once we get to level two. Especially not when, once we go get to level three. Why am I punishing myself and doing this like for the five people that actually watch this? <laughs> I'm that dedicated. Tell your friends. Um, <laughs> now I'm really actually kind of running out of shit to say. Wow. That didn't take long. We're like, what? Five minutes in? Ten? Maybe? <sighs> oh. I shall think of something. If all else fails, I'll just make a dick joke. I'm good at those. Oh. So yeah, what was I saying way back when when I started the sentence and never finished it? Oh yeah, I love fucking shoot 'em ups. They're my favorite shot. The shot? Oh god, I can't even talk. My throat's that constricted. Um, my favorite genre. Ah, fuck. Um, yeah. Especially when it comes to um, vertical scrollers. Yeah, I've, I've kind of a soft spot for these games. <laughs> oh, you burned. That is too bad. Really. I feel kind of bad about that. I mean, wow, that's a horrible way to die, isn't it? The other guys just exploded, or... Like, I think one of them actually turned into a ske Yeah, like that one. Turned into a skeleton. God damn, this game is brutal. Don't know if fairness, uh, with all these old-ass monitors we had back in the day, you couldn't really see all that shit. Uh, so yeah, first boss, real boss, and I'm cheaping out here. Using my loops to become invincible and just shoot the shit out of them. Close contact. You might think this is really, really cheap, but really, no, it's not it, It's not really that cheap. I mean, look, and it's not cheating, because, I don't know, I don't think you can actually evade his attack. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Like, think, think, uh, you know, with your head, actually. Not with your little head, which doesn't make any sense in this context. I don't know why I said it then. Strange. <coughs> 